In our virtual green room, Kalsam Chaudhry and her book is 18 Stories, Hope, Joy, and Endless Faith. Who does not want that in their life? Um, we are so thrilled she's with us here on America Tonight, and we're going to talk about the inspiration behind it, the stories, and all that good stuff in between. Kalsam, thanks for coming on. Thank you, Kate, for having me here. How are you? I'm excellent. And thank you for asking. And so for, you know, this is, you won some national, this is a national award winning book. What was the motivation for you to pulling this together? Why'd you put this together? Uh, yeah, Michelle, uh, I'm sorry, not Michelle, the Kate, uh, because I just uh, was talking to my publisher. Her name is Michelle. So sorry uh, that I just uh, had her name popping up in my mind. Uh, the inspiration was to write something positive uh, during the COVID time. And it was right after my son passed away. He passed away in November 2019, and he was 25 years old. And he always asked me to write the stories professionally, but I never did. When he left, it was a turning point in my life that we planned to do things and we always uh, consider there is enough time, but it was a realization uh, having less time on this earth or the remainder of our life or life being so unpredictable. So it was the motivation or realization, you can call it that life being so unpredictable, that was the reason behind it. And I wanted to write it with a set mind of positivity and uh, being uh, bringing the empathy and spread the message of understanding, in, especially in the young minds, to evoke the imagination and have them better understanding of their surrounding or the difficulties they face in regular life or in the daily life. And in the book, it's so interest, interesting, you know, you talk about, sadly, your, your son passing away at 25, but what he must be smiling down on you that you you did what he wanted you to do. It just brings a, a big smile to my face. And in the book, in these stories, one that really is impactful, The Day I Went Fishing. Tell the listeners about The Day I Went Fishing. Yeah, the day I went fishing is the story that was written by him in second grade when I was going through the stuff uh, in his room. Um, I just find it, uh, the story that with a drawing, and I decided to put that in the book along with the other stories I wrote. But the stories I wrote are the moral quotes I used to say to my kids all the time. They are all the memories of... Uh, my time with them so the story the day i went fishing with my dad has no moral lesson in the beginning but it has more of a quote in the ending that uh, the we should be thankful for the water we are granted by our creator but the story has um the time when we went to fishing it was cold i pick up the pail and throw all the bait in the lake and they were surprised because I don't want them to get cold. And you can see the sarcasm in the story by him that but we, our mom did and my dad was quiet because we all know she did the right thing because warmth of the car was making them realize that it was cold outside. <laughs> nice. And in this book too, I want to tell people, you know, you have the, especially the story we just talked about, the day I went fishing was his drawing, right? Yes, it's his drawing, the correction from the teacher. Uh, and I did not uh, mark on that because we wanted to publish as it is. It's a little faded, but it's still, you, uh, the readers can read it. So tell us about the collection of other stories. Where do all these stories come from? 
the other stories are they starts with the because when i was missing him and the covid happened right after that i start uh, writing the words i used to say usually i i would just say something that be courteous to others for uh, don't go too much into into peer pressure so i started writing those quotes and then i as i go through the memories of uh childhood of my kids and i was sorting out the stuff in the home because we were living in the same home for almost 21 years so there were a lot of memories of the kids and uh, then i picked up the characters and wrote the craft of stories around those moral quotes but they are very universal quotes that you need to understand that but at the same time it's out of our capacity the uh, it's a different dimension of a uh, mind need to force you to think about it which is out of our hands there comes the uh, my lines that you need to open your book of faith to understand the true meanings of for example fear forgiveness empathy we can read the best books written on fear or empathy but if you are not opening your book of faith believe me you cannot understand the true meanings of empathy forgiveness uh, forgiveness or fear that was uh, explained in our religious book and this is weaved throughout your book too by the way which you can get this book on amazon barnes and noble wherever great books are sold you have a, another another book that really another story that really touched me in the book the pelicans and little pega And right at the top you say wisdom is a god-given gift and prayer is a tool that opens it up use them both carefully. And we're not going to tell the listeners everything but we're telling a couple of the stories and this is one of them. Tell us about the significance of this story and the meaning. Significant uh of this story and the meaning was behind it that when we are trying to do the best in our life we are trying to use all the wisdom all the things we learned in the through our degree through our, our doctoral program or engineering program we come to a point in life where everything is not um telling us where to head and what to do how to bring positivity in our life so that's where the story comes that prayer is the key to ask uh wisdom from god because and the memory behind it we have a uh, uh, from a hallmark store long time ago i had a jewelry box that was written a prayer on it wisdom uh, uh, the oh god grant me the wisdom to know the difference between right and wrong and my son when he was 4 year old he used to grab it a lot of time and i don't want him to break it because it was made out of glass when i look at that it was hitting me because they used to ask what is the wisdom mom what is written on it as soon as they learn how to read and i used to explain hey there is a key to open your wisdom so how about you just uh, ask god to give you wisdom so that was the motivation behind it the memory lane behind it but as you read the story you will know the mom and the boy in the boat they were talking about that they need to focus on the prayer because the their wealth and the kids are the joy from the creator but at the same time it's a test from our creator so that was the story was given the message and that was my memory behind it and you're weaving this in in our conversation by telling us about these couple of stories that you have calcium in in the book and there are 16 others of course what do you yeah. hope people take away from reading the book what do you what do you hope the takeaways are uh the when the people read it they can take the deeper understanding of those moral quotes and they like uh, the arab and the three musketeer is uh this moral is the the life is a beautiful and spiritual experience granted by god and there are other story from the baby seeko that we are all are made different by god so avoid making fun of others and there is another one that avoid uh, learning survival skills and avoiding aggression towards elders are essential skills of life so when we read it 
uh, there's another one. Always be truthful to yourself and know the joy of your heart. Those, those are the moral quotes on the top. Then the story begins with an interesting imagination. Uh, the small conversation between the characters. Characters are uh, animals, and I did not describe their color. Uh, their uh, most of the time their gender, so the kids can imagination on their own if they want to imagine a, a brown cow or the calf should be some different color, the pelican could be uh, brown, it could be white, the butterfly could be pink, yellow, according to their, uh, to their imagination, their preference. When they read it, uh, spend 10, 15 minutes, a good read with the family. They, if the stories open a more conversation between the others, parents, caregivers, and the students or children. That was my motivation behind it, that the it should not be a boring 10, 15 minute read and then you say, the, okay, kids, it's time to go to bed. But the, after reading the stories, the kids want to ask you a question and the parents want to explain. And there are some uh, hidden points, the thinking points, as I say, that we need to think uh, as an adult that where we are in life, what we are dealing with how we are uh, performing, are we doing the best? Are we uh, just uh, uh, just preaching or are we really um, displaying the empathy, patience, forgiveness towards our kids because they we are the role model for them. So they are definitely adults and the kids will take away uh, some meaningful lessons and they would look forward reading other stories. I, I believe. Ah, perfect place to end this. You summed it up so well. Kalsam Chabri, thank you so much. Get the book 18 Stories, Hope, Joy, and Endless Faith. Amazon, Barnes & Noble, wherever great books are sold. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kate. Visit us at www.greatwritersmedia.com Email us at info at greatwritersmedia.com or call us at plus one eight seven seven five five six oh 